Welcome to this video series on the updated core competencies that take effect officially in 2021. I'm Brighton West, and I'm excited to be the host of this series. There are eight videos total in this series, one for each of the core competencies, and each one featuring an MCC and mentor coach who helped in the process evolving these core competencies. So you are getting the information directly from the source of building these. I'm excited to have in this video, Dr. Frances Penafort. She is coming to us from Malaysia, and she will be talking to us about the first core competency, which is about ethics. Thank you so much, Frances, for being here. Thank you, Brighton. Thanks for inviting me. And I'm really excited about this new set of uh, core competencies. It took us a long while to really get it you know, all ready for 2021. And I'm excited about doing this uh, video also, you know, to share about demonstrating ethical practice. Great. Well, thank you to the entire team of coaches that made this possible. I'm, I know this was a lot of work. Um, and for the viewer, this, this video is going to be a little different than the uh, structure of future videos, just because this competency is a little different than the others. So we're going to be um, kind of a little more fluid here, slightly different structure. And so let's start out with maybe an overview, a quick overview of this competency. So demonstrating ethical practice in this uh, core competency is actually the base of uh, all the future competencies. So, and between this new core competency and the previous uh, code of uh, our core competencies, uh, we can see that the baseline, the essence, the intent is exactly the same. What is different is maybe a deep dive into certain aspects of how a coach can demonstrate ethical practice. So that's what I'm keen to share today. Thanks. So, and, and I want to also mention to our viewers that we, we also have a video series on the Code of Ethics, which was just updated in 2020. Uh, and you could head up here and see that series of videos. Um, so uh, just be able to de dive even deeper into this core competency by digging into all the aspects of the Code of Ethics. But let's, let's start out with, um, you kind of had three different ways of looking at this. So tell us what those three ways are, and then we'll dive into them one at a time. Okay, so uh, the first way is for a coach to demonstrate ethical practice, the first level is she needs to focus on herself. So as the coach, she looks at herself before she gets into the relationship of coaching. So how is she going to showcase herself? What is the level of honesty she wants to bring into the coaching relationship? What is the level of professionalism and integrity? So if she does not focus on herself and on these aspects, then clearly she will not be demonstrating ethical practice. So I know that you were on the, the uh, independent review board, the IRB. So maybe you can share an example of when someone's maybe violating this aspect of the ethical code. Sure, Brighton. Uh, I can share this example. This really comes back to my mind where the coach had agreed with the client to meet the client at a certain time. So the coaching uh, session was going to be 60 minutes and there was a time fix and the platform on which they were going to meet was fixed. And what happened was the client was waiting and waiting and waiting and after 35 minutes, the coach appears. So the coach is clearly showing they are not demonstrating ethical, good ethical practice because where's the level of professionalism and integrity? So that was an impact on this client. You know, this is the first time the client is going into coaching and he is feeling like I'm not being respected and uh, there's zero trust and intimacy already being built. So the impact is there. So let's go on um, to kind of the second way that uh, you describe ethics and, and we'll dig into an example there too. Okay, sure. So the second aspect of this new uh, core competencies is where the ethical code, uh, not the ethical code, the core competency focuses on uh, the relationship that the coach has with their client or sponsor or stakeholder. So when the coach embraces and demonstrates ethical pra 
practice, the coach is actually looking at the relationship and wants to nurture the relationship. And how does the coach do that? The coach shows care. The coach shows kindness. The coach shows uh, empathy and sensitivity towards what? Towards the client, who the identity of the client is, what are his beliefs, what are his values. So let's go into an example here of what this looks like to violate this code. And I, I want to, you know, the to the viewer, in future videos, we'll be looking more at like, what does it look like when it's really good? And what does it look like when it's really bad? But for ethics, it's a little hard to, to describe what it's really good. It's more obvious when uh, someone's kind of um, violating an ethical code. So let's give an example here. Yeah. So one example was this client made a complaint to the IRB among a list of complaints. These were two that came up. One was she had already contracted with the coach. Please, I want all our coaching sessions to be done face to face. Okay. And she's a Muslim and the coach knows that. But one of the sessions, the coach rang her and said, I can't do it face to face. We'll do it over the telephone. So, you know, that really upset the client. And on another session, the coach brought in her dog, knowing that the client was a Muslim and sensitive towards, you know, having a dog in the same room. So clearly the coach was not being sensitive to what was the belief of the client, neither the, you know, respecting her dignity and what she wants, what she wanted from uh, rather than a, a phone call a coaching session. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that example because it, it really gets into cultural competency, which which is which is big in the new code of ethics. Because um, you know that might not impact the coach; might be fine with their their dog being there, but they really have to pay attention to who they're coaching and what are their standards and their expectations. But let's jump into number three of the different way that you can show up in ethics. So the third aspect of this uh, core competency is where the coach actually partners with the guiding system. There is a system that's guiding the coach. And what is sitting in the system is the ICF code of ethics plus the ICF core values of respecting, integrity, collaboration, and excellence. So this will actually, if the coach embraces this and endorses this, this will help to demonstrate ethical practice. Great. Well, let's go into an example here when someone kind of uh, breaks the systems. Yeah. So a few examples, but one of it is when uh, the coach does not endorse like the ICF code of ethics. And one case that came was uh, the coach, the client had already told the coach, please do not share any of this information to my parents. But the coach did threaten the client and did actually contact the parents and share. So the coach was violating the ICF code of confidentiality. So what happened to the client? Immediately the client was closed and did not open themselves to, you know, this range of possibilities. The client felt uh, dignity was really being, uh, you know, uh, erased and attacked sort of. And the client felt hopeless. So the client actually wrote in and said, I can't, I can't have this kind of coach. And this was the first time the client was actually engaging a coach. That one, that's a pretty serious violation. And I think really focusing and people, yeah, we need to know um, and let our clients know when we have to breach confidentiality because there are certain tiny little aspects, uh, but I don't know if any of them apply to their parents. So um, let's let's look now at the differences of how this shows up. If you're an ACC, MCC or PCC, um, this one might not have that many differences, uh, but some of the others do. But yeah, is there any difference? Yeah. So. Uh... Asking a coach to demonstrate ethical practice is actually the base, the core, the baseline of how a coach shows up individually or in the relationship or in the larger system. So whether you're an ACC or you're a PCC or you're an MCC, this is the system in which you're working. So this will impact 
every coach at every credential level. Well, thank you so much for imparting your knowledge on on everyone here and and for your service uh, to the coaches worldwide in helping to update these core competencies. And thank you to the viewers for for doing this uh, continuing education to really get the new core competencies. So um, if you're ready to move on to the next one, you can see that up here. We're gonna go uh, around the globe over to London to talk to Colin Brett about embodying a coaching mindset. And if you wanna dig in further in the ethics, you can click down here to see the entire series that we did on the ethics. So we'll see you in the next video.